Well, the absurdity of it all just does not seem to end. 48 hours after a 21-day-old baby died after his oxygen mask was removed allegedly by a drunk sweeper, the man in charge at the Calcutta Medical College not only refuses to take any action but goes on to justify the act of a Group D employee doing the job of a trained medical practitioner. He calls it teamwork. We call it murder. Gayatri Devi claims she saw the moment her grandson was killed by a drunk sweeper who removed the 21-day-old baby's oxygen mask. But 48 hours on, not even an FIR has been filed. And the sweeper, who has gone underground, has not even been suspended. Times Now's investigative team went inside the Calcutta Medical College. The superintendent justifies his lack of action, saying he could not act merely on the basis of a patient's complaint as it would wipe out half the hospital staff. An admission that hints at the possibility that the death of this 21-day-old baby was not a one-off case. The lack of remorse apart, there seems to be no sense of responsibility in the words of the man in charge, Mr. Chakraborty, who uses the word teamwork to describe a situation where a Group D employee has to step in to do what only a certified medical practitioner should be allowed to. Sometimes the nurses also ask Forty-eight hours after the 21-day-old baby died due to negligence, why has no FIR been filed? Why haven't efforts been made to look for the sweeper? Can a four-member inquiry panel fielded by the hospital be trusted to conduct an impartial probe? And why has the government not intervened in the matter? With Prema Rajaram in Kolkata, Adiral Virk for Times Now.